Hello and welcome to this week's installment of Wagtail Wednesdays. In today's short and snappy video, we are going to go through a hidden gem in Wagtail that you may not know about, the Wagtail Style Guide. Firstly, I just want to go through why you may actually need this style guide. If you're a developer and you're looking to work on the Wagtail UI, or you're creating a new UI component, you may want to test it against the Wagtail Style Guide for consistency or maybe just for a bit of inspiration. To get the style guide working, all we need to do is head over to our code, we've just created a basic Wagtail instance, and open the base.py file. Next, scroll down to the installed apps section and look for instances of wagtail.contrib. We can just add wagtail.contrib.styleguide to the bottom of this list and we're done. I've added it here to keep them together as it just makes it easier to read. If we now head over to our admin, and click on settings, we should now see that the style guide has been added to the bottom of this navigation. Let's click on this and see what we have available. We can see that we now have access to the different components that make up the UI for Wagtail. There's a section for the colour palette that Wagtail uses, the different chooser panels, and the various help text blocks, to name but a few. We tend to use it when adjusting the model admin, where we need to specify an icon for a particular menu item. Being able to choose from a good list of icons makes it much easier for a developer to create a better experience for the user, as the right icon can improve visual interest and grab the user's attention. So there we have it, a really useful part of Wagtail that you may not have discovered. Thanks for watching this quick, simple video on the Wagtail Style Guide. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also sign up to our mailing list for early access to our videos, and you can find the link in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.